watch is the uh, chap, <coughs> his name's Dean. And he's, uh, I met him at, at Bolton Wanderers, believe it or not, because I'm a die Bolton Wanderers supporter for my sins. And uh, I met him and he, we got talking about what we do for work. And it turns out he, he, he used to do a bit of window cleaning and he's gone into security and stuff like that. Um, and he said that the best way he found of gathering customers on these new build estates was to go into the office and say to the powers that be in there, Hi, my name is such and such, I'm one of the window cleaning company, etc. If you like, um, what I'd like you to do is, would you be able to put the, my leaflets in the starter packs for all the new homeowners taking up houses on the estate, and I will clean the windows inside and out of the office and the show, and the show house for free every week um, until you complete the site. On the face of it, it's a good long-term strategy to get your name out there um, and the sorts of people that buy new houses will want to keep them clean for as long as possible and I found as well on some of these new estates um, that the, the, the people that take on these houses they want them to stay clean and pretty for long uh, for the long term sort of thing so they are more likely to sort of take on a, a window cleaner etc and they fall into the bracket of people that have got lots of money and are probably rushing around trying to pay, pay their mortgage off as fast as they can. But um, I do worry that if I would, you know, I would, I would always be, you know, worrying that maybe the people, as long as you could trust them, that they would put those cards in the brochures. Because let's face it, you know, if they if they were to forget to put the you know your leaflet in those um, brochures then um you would never know but you would be cleaning the show home and the office inside and out for free every week for for a couple of years you know on the off chance that someone will see your leaflet etc i don't know i'd have to see if i could trust the person to be honest with you because i do know that there are from personal experience there are more than just a handful of little shysters out there and the thing is is if you give us give away a job for free people tend to place lesser lesser a value on it you know if you if someone was to say to you um you know if someone was to give you a free item um you would value that less than if you had to work for it and pay for it you would look after it more if you had to pay for it um and i think when it comes to a service as well it can be neglected especially if they are receiving your service for free where's where's the incentive for them to sort of hand on your card and how how possibly are you going to know if they've upheld their end of the bargain because they can see the whole world can see Anyone that walks into that office or into that show home can see that you have cleaned the windows. They they are reaping the benefit. The value is apparent. But how do you know that they will uphold their end of the bargain? Are you going to be there when they hand over the brochures? You know, check every brochure, make sure your card's in there. I don't know. That's my only caution to that. But, I mean, if it works, fair play to you, you know. But, like I say... I'm a bit long in the tooth to be trusting people on a whim. <laughs> I'm not a very trusting kind of person. But uh, but yeah, there you have it. So There's no such thing as a wrong answer. Um, there's no such thing as a stupid question. All them stupid answers. I will um, see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.